is Kitchen of Hormones Part 2, also known as why you probably don't need extra estrogen in early perimenopause. So to understand what a normal menstrual cycle looks like, watch Part 1. During perimenopause, you've reached a point in your life where your ovaries are running out of eggs. You're down from about 400,000 eggs at puberty to 5,000 eggs by the age of 40. In Part 1, you learn that follicular cells, which surround each of your eggs, are responsible for making estrogen and progesterone. What I didn't mention was that they also make inhibin, a hormone that becomes especially important in perimenopause. So if we were to look inside one of these follicles during perimenopause, we would see a lot of this yellow, which is inhibin. Now inhibin travels up to your brain, to your pituitary gland, to inhibit the production of a hormone called FSH. Now in early perimenopause, because these molecular cells have become kind of weary, they're making less of this inhibin. This means more FSH from the pituitary gland and crazy surges of estrogen. <laughs> Women in early perimenopause are often making 20 or 30% more estrogen and they make it in these chaotic bursts. Add that to the fact that you're not ovulating regularly anymore. So you don't have the protluteum to make the progesterone. And you can see why this early perimenopause, we generally recommend giving you progesterone alone and not estrogen. Make sense? Save this video and stay tuned for part three, menopause.